In this video, we're going to look at the second button down on the Create Toolbar. Click on the button and then on the left in the document. This time, you'll see a frame here with a black line. You may well see on your machine colour around the frame. On this machine, it's been set up so that that colour is just white. Later on, we'll see how you can set up the defaults for these frames and change their colours. We won't worry about that for now. Just as before, I'll type the same text into this box as we did in the first video. So we all went to the zoo. Instead of doing a return now, as I did before, I'm going to carry on typing on the same line just in order to show you uh, what happens. It makes it easier to illustrate. So we looked at and now you see that as I continue to type the lions and tigers what happens is that the graphic size and the font shrink so that the writing will fit the space available there. If I now do a return the text and the graphics will shrink further because it's made space for a new line. Sometimes people do that and are quite surprised when the font and graphics get smaller. It's simply because in this sort of frame space has been made to type that new line. I'll delete that return for the moment. Just as before, if you right button click you can change the frame from the state where you can write in it to the state where you can move it around. So I'll move it around here and enlarge the frame by dragging it down. We'll now look at what happens if we make use of this bottom but one icon on the Create Toolbar. If I click on that you'll see immediately what happens. It makes the writing expand to fit the space available. We call it the Expand to Fit button. And this is quite useful because now we can make the writing large to fit the space. We don't have to bother adjusting the font and the graphic size to achieve that for us. If we compare that with what happened when we use the top button here, I'll just do that again as a quick reminder. So I type the same thing. We all went to the zoo. And now as we carry on typing, we looked, etc. We see here that in this case, the font and the graphic size stay the same and the frame expands to be larger. In this case, when we were typing, the graphics got smaller in order to fit in the space available. So if we click back in here now and do a return and type we ate lunch at the cafe etc then you can see that what happened here was that the uh, font got smaller to make space for that new line. So that's the comparison with it between these two sorts of frames. You can put colour around this frame and a line. You can do that with this frame also if you want to uh, but for the convenience, we normally put a frame around this so that we can see that it's a fixed size frame and the typing will get smaller inside it as we carry on typing. We'll look now at what happens if we want to create more pages. The icons down the bottom here are fairly explanatory. Here, if I want to turn forward a page, I just click on this icon here. By default, when we go forwards we go to see pages 2 and 3 and in the book they would be facing one another. So we see page 2, page 3 we haven't written anything on it yet so it's grey, it's not ready to write on. We can just click on it and make it visible. If you only want to see one page at a time we can click on this page, this icon here, one and two pages together or click on it and we can just see one page at a time. Go back to page 2. So we're now looking at page two. There are three pages that we've made and we're looking at them 
one page at a time. I'm going to put on another fixed size frame here, but this time instead of just clicking, you'll see that as I drag, I can actually drag it to the shape that I want to start with. You don't have to click and drag afterwards, you can drag any frame to the shape that you want to start with. I'm just going to put one word in here, lion, and I'm going to show you how you might want to make uh, a card of some sort, a flash card. This might be also when you want to write in a grid cell. The line is small there, so we're going to make him fit the frame, expand to fit. He'll now be quite large now. And if we look at these alignment icons here, we can see how we can make that lion fit exactly where we want in the frame. The moment it's left aligned, I could center it, or I could right align it. We'll center it. And here, I can put it at the top of the frame, the middle of the frame, or the bottom of the frame. So if we want a nice graphic in the middle of a frame, we can use these two icons. We can center it left to right, and we can center it vertically in the frame. And again, I can right button click, and I can move. And if I shrink that frame somewhat, then the lion will also shrink inside to fit, uh, expand it, and I can click the expand to fit button and make him expand to fit that space available. So in this video, we've seen how this icon here, which produces frames of fixed size, compares with this one, where the frame expands to fit the extra writing, and we've made use of the expand to fit button. A quick look at the page icons, and a quick look at the alignment icons. In the next video, we'll look at these two icons here, how we can actually write without symbols appear, just in text.